Turbo Time was by far the most popular game. And Turbo, Turbo-tastic! Well, he loved the attention. Turbo-tastic! Playing that feedback! Hey there, Dave Brennan with the TurboGrafx-7 Tech Repair. Today I'm doing part two of the repair on this Chicago Coin Bullseye Bowler. Uh, last time I went through several relays and stepper units, um, but there's still a few outlying things. I have uh, like three or four stepper units in the back box that need to get unstuck and cleaned up, as well as um, some score reels that need to be cleaned. Currently it plays, but um, the score reels aren't resetting all the way to zero. Um, so basically I'm going to go and clean up everything, make sure that it's, it's all adjusted properly, and then from there I'll go through and do any troubleshooting for anything out, outlined. So I'll show you some details as I go along. Alright, taking a look at this um, number unit in the back here, I'm going to clean up these contacts here. Um, really this is just a continuous um, stepper. seems to move okay right now, um, but it's still pretty dirty and it's a little slow. The um, contacts on it are all tarnished. So I'm going to take my... I already went through and cleaned it with a little alcohol. But I'm going to go through and clean the contacts with the Dremel 443 steel brush. And once I do that, um, clean it off with some alcohol again, and then I'll follow that up with some, uh, I'd use finish line dry bike lubricant um, with a Q-tip, just do it sparingly. I'm going to do that quick, and then I'll show you when it's done. So, got this thing cleaned up, went through, magic brushed everything, um, and did the uh, little bit of the dry bike lubricant on a Q-tip and also cleaned up the gears here that had some old dried grease on it so now it clicks along pretty nice the last thing that I like to do is uh, make sure that the tension on these fingers are um, nice and, and secure on the on the contacts so what I'll do is take um, my switch adjustment tool and just give them a little bit more tension so you make sure that you have um, good connectivity there. I'm looking at the player stepper unit now and as you can see um, one of the main coils um, that steps it is pretty cooked. Um, the owner of the game um, bought a coil off of eBay which is the right coil for it however didn't come with the sleeve and I happen to have a sleeve in my toolbox but it's not it's too long for it was for a flipper coil um, so I couldn't use it really for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it I'm gonna show you the, the trick to it basically you can you can take, if you really wanted to just have one style coil sleeve, um, you could just keep that in your toolbox. Um, but a neat little trick is to just trim it to whatever size. The easiest way to do it was with a pipe cutter. And so you just adjust this to whatever size it is. Put it in the grip here. I'm using a old, um, just plunger coil or a, a flipper plunger here, and so I just spin it around, tightening as you go. And there we 
go. The reason for that is, I mean, you could probably do it with with a razor blade too, but um, that gets it a little bit cleaner. And now, there you go, new coil sleeve, and it'll fit. First thing I'm going to do is take off this coil stop. It's just thread it in. And there we go. It should free up the coil. There. That is pretty well cooked, falling apart. So I'm going to heat up the soldering iron here and uh, remove the wires here and just uh, put it back. I got this coil all changed out now. Um, also went through and cleaned up the gears and lubricated them um, so it moves a lot smoother now. Resets nice. And then, so this is the uh, player unit, so it's got six um, rivets for each one. Anyway, clean this all up and lube that as well. So we'll put that back. Now that we don't have a fried coil, it should uh, move player to player. Alright, I got one more coil to replace here. Um, the label fell off this stepper unit here, so I'm not quite sure what it controls, but um, it's not going to control much without a good coil in it, so this one's pretty toast. So I'm going to do the same process as the last one, take off the coil stop, and then I have a new coil to stick in, and we'll uh, go from there. All right, went through a few four stepper motors in the back box. Um, I'm still not getting all the the reels to reset. Um, so something is going on with the start relay, but I'm kind of out of time, so I need to uh, come back another time. But at this point, I got I've went through a lot of the steppers and the relays and so really now it's just studying the schematic and seeing where I get so I can show you a quick game of where, where it is you know, it'll, score. And it'll go all the way so now it's, it's doing the, um, the bullseye feature and I still haven't figured out what that means, but when I run number six and it lights up E here, but essentially you can get to uh, frame 10 and it'll end game over, but then when you start a new game, it's not, um, it won't reset the scores, and um, it's also not letting me add uh, players to it. So I'm going to figure that out next time. So until then. Okay.